Yo, Shoe Two, what's up? Look, we made it, man. We're at 700 subs. Thank each and every one of you guys, gals out there that are supporting the channel. I appreciate y'all so much. Now, here's the deal. For y'all that's been subbed to the channel for a while, it's that time. We're doing the entries for the 1,000 sub giveaway. What happens at 1,000 subs, you may say? Well, I'm giving away a pair of Air Jordan 1 highs, dead stock, to one of you lucky guys or girls out there that support the channel. Um, we have numerous entries up until this point. I actually have them right here. Hold on a second. I have them written down right here in my book, okay? And for each, so for all these videos, let me take, it, let me take a step back for a minute. Every time we reach 100 subs, I give the opportunity to get into the 1,000 sub uh, giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, what happened? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna take everybody's name, I'm gonna put them on one of those wheels or whatever, we're gonna go live, I'm gonna spin the wheel, whoever's name get, hits, gets the pair of Jordans. Shipping included, everything's free, it's on me. It's my way of giving back for you guys and gals out there that are supporting the channel. So, with that being said, Here's the, the only rules are, it's real simple. I don't make you go to this site and that site and, and everybody else's sites and follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. No, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the like button on this video, share it if you want to. It's not an obligation, but share it if you want to. Uh, it, that'll help to grow because the sooner we get to a thousand, the sooner you guys get a chance to get the free shoes. So anyway, uh, yeah, getting back to it. Sub to the channel, hit the like button, comment down below. That's all you gotta do. You leave me a comment, I don't care if it's about the shoes. You can say put me in the contest if you don't wanna talk about the shoes. But yeah, that right there will get you in the book. It'll get your name on the hat or, or in the hat. No, not even in the hat, to get your name on the wheel because we're gonna do the wheel. We're gonna do it right in front of everybody live. Um, so yeah, that's it, real simple. Now, let's talk about the Amam and Years, man. So my wife hit on the Amam and Years on November 17th when they dropped on the actual site. And uh, I just got them in, so I was nervous. I was nervous as hell, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Because look, man, too many people have been getting like their orders and stuff canceled on shoes. And, uh, you know, a lot of people on Twitter ha that had hit on the Amma Manier 4s were actually like taking pictures of their shoes with the hashtag, you know, kick of the day and all that kind of stuff, which is cool, I love that stuff. That's why I'm on sneaker Twitter. I love that family over there. But I started getting nervous, I was like, why is everybody else getting their shoes and I don't even have my, my ship shipping confirmation? <laughs> my shipping confirmation yet. Because that, that when my wife hit on them, and I'm very thankful and blessed that she did. We'll get in that in a minute. But it said, okay, your next thing will be, we'll follow up with you after uh, we ship your shoes. We'll give you the tracking number, et cetera, whatever, right? We never heard anything. Now it did say it could take up to seven to 10 business days. And everybody, when I, when I posted on Twitter, I was like, is anybody else, is anybody else still waiting? Some, you know, a lot of people were waiting. A lot of people, but there were some people on there was like, hey, you just need to be patient. Be happy that you hit on them. I am happy I hit on them, but I am also human. And I do also know that orders are getting canceled out there for various things. And I do also know that some shipping companies are jacking people's packages. And I do also know that our mom and took my money uh, on the day that we hit on them, $258 to be exact. So with that, I do just kind of want to know, you know, what's going on with my shoe. Uh, so I get that it had been seven to 10, but actually mine did come in like almost to the day, two weeks of business days. So mine was like maybe one of the last ones. I got an 11 and a half, but look, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's get to the shoes. That's what y'all came to see. Don't forget, comment on the video, like the video, Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not, again, all you gotta do is comment. Get to the contest. You could win yourself a pair of Jordans. Let's head over to the operating table and check these shoes out. Let's roll. Here we are at the world famous operating table, the OT. The OT. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Here it is, the Ama Manier Jordan 4. Again, very thankful to have these in hands. It was a miracle hidden. It was a miracle for him not to get canceled, and it was a miracle for him to show up at my door and actually be in hand right now. So I'm very thankful, very thankful for that. Great presentation. I do not own any of the other All Mom and Year shoes, the ones, the twos, or the threes. I know the threes are like loved by everybody, but guys, if I had to pick one, this is just my own personal opinion, this would be it. And it's not because I copped them, it's because it's the four silhouette, and I love the Jordan 4. So, Presentation. You guys, presentation means a lot. So if you watch the videos for a while, you'll know that I, I dig presentations, I dig boxes. 
uh, because you pay for it. You pay for the experience of the unboxing. And so I like when, you know, when, when Jordan Brand or the collaborator, whoever they're collaborating with, does something a little special. This is not just with the Jordan 4. I saw these on the 3s. I'm not sure if they do it with the 1s and the others, the 2s, but I haven't really watched too many videos on those. Those didn't really appeal to me that much. But this is nice. So anyway, let's get to the box. Got this little slide out kind of carton right here with the Amamanier symbol. And you know, I was tempted to call Amamanier and just say, hey, <laughs> I live in Georgia about an hour south of your store. Can I just come pick them up? Uh, I would rather just come grab them from you. Uh, but I had already paid like 20 something dollars in shipping or $15 shipping, whatever it was. But yeah, I don't live too far from the actual store, the Amamanier store where, where it was founded. But anyway, the box, you do have this nice kind of muted purple is what I call it. I know there's an actual name for it. We'll get into it in a minute. But you do have that Amamanier branding right here on the front. You've got that jump man in black with flight. Again, this is a kind of a matte I'm gonna call it a matte purple, like light purple or something, dark purple, I don't know. Light purple, dark purple, some kind of freaking purple. Black Jumpman Air. I like the way they've got this kind of, uh, you know, design on the box right here. It looks really nice. It is pronounced, so you can actually feel, you know, you can feel the design. And then here's the actual tag for the tag gang out there. This is the Air Jordan 4 Retro SP colorway so there's the color it is violet or uh violet or medium ash black so violet or is the actual color of this violet you do have the eye mom and your branding there so opening up the box bam you've got the eye mom and your logo and then you've got jordan you know the last shot right here you can kind of see it in the background or whatever very nice presentation again i love it when people when 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 they do this man it just it just adds to the shoe uh yeah i know you don't wear the box or nothing like that um but man this is just this is cool like i'm gonna have this sitting on top of my uh on top of my sneaker in, in my sneaker room I'll, I'll set it on top of some of my container store containers because i like the presentation i like the way that looks that's pretty neat uh so that let's get into the shoes a moment you guys have been waiting for you do have an Ama Manier wax paper right here, as you can see. But in three, two, one. Well, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Ah, there they are, guys. The Air Jordan 4 Ama Maniers. Let's go ahead and get one of them out. Oh, man, this is a beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. I do have, looks like a little scratch right here. I don't know. Let me see if that'll come out. I don't know. You see, you see this little kind of scratch right here on it? Uh, so quality guys quality control. Um, I'm coming after you on that, but no, I'm wearing this shoe I'm gonna I'm gonna beat these guys into the ground My guy I'm beating them into the ground So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at it real quick in all of its stunning soul-searching 4k visualization uh, If you will so here we go. Let's take a look Nike Air on the back. Such a beautiful shoe. So there is your 4K visual of the shoe. Now let's get into the review right quick. Put this one over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Outsole. <clears throat> You've got this purple right here. Love the, this right here, this color blocking. Maybe one of my favorite outsoles of the year as far as the color blocking goes. For some reason, this purple in this cell is, is beautiful to me. I don't know what it is about. It's like a fine glass of wine. But you've got your Jordan 4 outsole. I'm glad that they left this in sale instead of changing it into a different color. This just, this, this is very classy, okay? That's, that's the word that comes to mind when I see this outsole. It's classy. Really, that's the mind that come, or the word that comes to mind when I see this shoe. But anyway, your midsole right here. You do have it in, in more of a darker kind of vintage yellow, aged yellow, than this part of your midsole. I don't know if y'all are picking that up, but that's two different shades of color right there. So this right here on your midsole is a little bit lighter and more of a true cell, whereas this is in like a vintage aged cell color. Then you have your black right here, 
wrapping around your midsole as well, going around to your other side. Your air unit is in that, is it cell or white? This looks white. If it is in cell, it's more of a more of a whiter color cell than the rest of your, uh, it actually looks more like this. So that is your air unit. And then your materials, your material all over the shoe guys is, is like a, a new buck uh, material. It's very soft. It kind of reminds me of the Winterized 4 material, to be honest with you. It, 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 it does remind me strongly of the Winterized 4. But your whole shoe is colored in that violet, what do they call it, violet ore? Yeah, violet ore. So that's the official colorway. A lot of people say these might be hard to rock. I don't think so. You throw on some denims and you know as long as you don't have on like a light blue or something if you've got on any kind of maroon or any kind of white or anything black i mean this to me this will go with anything that's just my own personal opinion i don't think it's gonna be that hard to match up we're gonna find out because i'm gonna wear it with anything i don't care <laughs> but uh you've got your classic jordan 4 netting right here on your tongue and on your mid panels you've got your wings with your waffle tips, you know, your waffles for, for the lockdown so you can relace it. Jordan wanted a better lockdown on his shoes. So, you know, you can relace it to kind of fit where you want to lock it down at. Relacing the Jordan 4 is a pain in the butt, I can tell you that. Uh, but, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not fun either. It's not like I have a good time doing it. Your eyelets, nothing special about your eyelets, or not your eyelets, I'm sorry, your lace tips right here. Uh, you do get one set of laces. They are in that violet or colorway as well, even though they're a little more darker than the rest of the shoe. You do have this little button on the back right there with the Ama Manier branding. Okay, so that's pretty neat. And then you also get this uh, hang tag right here. So this is a nice hang tag, very classy, very like shiny. Um, I know it's in the bag right now, but I can look at it and tell it's very shiny. So you do get a hang tag. I don't wear hang tags on my shoes, but it's nice that they threw it back to when you used to get the Nike Air hang tags uh, on your shoes. But yeah, so that's that the shoe and then on the insole. So on this one right here, let's talk about the tongue. Very nice leather on the tongue. Do have flight on this shoe. And then on this shoe right here, you have the Ama Manier logo. Okay, so Ama Manier and then flight. And then on the back of your tongue. So the tongue is like unfinished. It's just like a cut of leather. You guys can see that. I really like the way they did that. And they also did it right here around the sock liner. Okay, get into your insole. You do have Ama Manier branding right there. Uh, very nice. And then you have quilted this very quilted padding around your sock liner and on the back of your tongue. There is no Air Jordan on the back of your tongue upside down that you typically would see on your Jordan 4s. So none of that, they just kept it classy, kept it quilted. And your insole down in there as well is quilted. I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but you, yeah, there you go. It has a quilted insole in it also. So can't wait to see how comfortable these are uh, by putting them on feet. A lot of people don't like the comfort of the Jordan 4s. They don't bother me. I just get them a little bit. I get them in an 11 and a half, and for some reason, they fit me fine. They don't crush my pinky toes. Big deal right there, Nike Air on the back. Even though this is an OG colorway, uh, they do have Nike Air on the back of the shoe. And then last but not least, one of the hidden features on the shoe that's not so hidden anymore is the quote here. It's not about the shoes. It's not about the shoes, it's about where you're going. Michael Jordan, hey guys, and I'm gonna leave it at that. And it's not about the shoes, it's about where you're going. And right now, baby, we going to the moon, woo! Because we're at 700. So again, don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, let me know what you think about the Jordan 4 Ama Manier, is it your shoe of the year? I'm giving these a nine and a half out of 10, guys, a nine and a half out of 10. The only reason my pair is not getting a 10 out of 10 is because I did have that, I mean, I'm not being picky, guys, but 250 bucks, you know, I don't kind of don't want a little scratch right here because with this material, I don't think that's going to come out. I don't think this little scratch running down, and I'm OCD, so I'll pick that up. <laughs> like, I'll notice that. But with the jeans over and everything, I mean, and, and me beating this at the ground, guys, I mean, this is this really is a 10 out of 10. I'm just being picky, uh, to be honest with you. And plus, it kind of feels like I got a little bit, of, well, no, I don't have crease. God, look at that material. Y'all picking that up? Look how soft that is. That is beautiful. But yeah, these these are, these will uh, these will scuff easy now that I'm kind of feeling how this material is. This these will uh, these will definitely scuff a little bit if you if you scuff them up. But if you do, you do their shoes. They're meant to be worn, man. So rock your shoes. With that, it's Jamin. I'm out again. Much love for your support. 
Much love for you spending your time with me today and checking out this video. I love you guys. Y'all stay safe out there. Until we meet again, it's Jamin. I'm signing out. Peace.